Friday, March 31st, and I'm so excited to be back here again with you. So yesterday we read um, Grumpy Monkey, and today I have another really fun favorite book read that I wanna do and have a couple exercises that we're gonna do after, so I'm super excited. So yesterday I said we were gonna start by doing words of affirmation, and I think we need to do it again today because it's super important. So we're going to say, Hug, hug, hug. Yeah, yeah. I love you too. I love you too. You can go sit and do, do it with us, okay? We're going to say, I am strong. I am brave. I am kind. I am good. And I am love. So I want you all to know that you are all those things. You are brave. You are strong. You are kind. You are good and you are loved. So I want you to know all those things. So every day we'll say those words of affirmation to help us feel good because we're here again and it's day two. And this is one of my all time favorite books. It is called Wimberly Worried. And Wimberly worried about everything. She worried about big things and she worried about small things. She worried about middle-ish things. She worried about the crack in her wall and the tree in her backyard. And she worried about when her little bunny had to go in the washing machine, cause that could be super scary. So she worried, worried, worried. And then her mom told her, you worry too much. And her father said, when you worry, I worry. And her grandma said, worry, 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 too much worry. So sometimes we feel like we worry a lot and that's how Wimberly was, worry, Wimberly worried about everything. But then she had a new worry. She was worrying about starting school. She was worried that they would have, that the school might smell weird, that they wouldn't have snacks, that they would have yucky snacks, that she wouldn't have a friend that to meet. And so she went to school and she was super nervous. And guess what? She found somebody else who worried just like her. And they became great friends. So sometimes when we're going through things in life and we worry about things or we're sad about things, it makes us feel better knowing that somebody else feels the same way we do. And right now, lots of people are feeling just the same way you are. Some days we feel good and happy. Some days we're feeling a little sad. Some days we just are mad and we don't know why. But lots of people feel just the way you do. Just like Wimberly did, just like her friend did. We can all make connections to the way Wimberly's been feeling. So, because this is one of my favorite books, I linked it on the bottom so you can go check it out and listen to the whole story because it's such a fun book. I have a book here called Breathe Like a Bear. And this is 30 mindful moments for kids to feel calm and focused anytime and anywhere. So today we're gonna do two exercises that I found in this book that I think are super fun. So the first one we're going to do is bear breathe. So first we're gonna pretend you're a bear. Everyone pretend you're a bear, but you're gonna be pretending to be a hibernating bear. So everyone curl up in a little ball, cuddle up. And now when a bear hibernates, they breathe super slowly and they breathe in and out through their nose. So everyone take a deep breath in really slow. And out really slow. And you're pretending to hibernate like a bear. So let's do it all together again. We're gonna take a long deep breath in through your nose and let it all the way out. Another long deep breath in through your nose and let it out. Very good. So how to feel cozy and safe when you're in a bear cave is to take long deep breaths in. So we're gonna feel cozy and safe and by breathing in and out. Very good. So take one more really long breath in through your nose and let it all the way out. And now you can say, you know how to do bear breathing. Hibernating bears sleeping all winter long, breathing in through their nose and out through their nose. And then we have one more fun activity. This is called gentle neck stretch and it looks like a llama. So I want you to gentle neck stretch. We're gonna sit up tall and slowly, gently let your head fall to one side, stretching out your neck. 
breathing in and breathing out. And I want you to tilt your slowly tilt your head up through the other side. Breathe in and breathe out. So that's called the gentle neck stretch. So we always sit up nice and tall. You breathe in and out. And I want you to feel how heavy your neck is or your head is on your neck and it leans slowly to the right and in and out. And slowly to the left, in and out. Very good. So you learn today how to breathe like a bear when you feel like you might be feeling like Wimberly worried. Breathe in, through your nose and out through your nose, nice and slow. And then you also learn the gentle neck stretch like a llama. Leaning to the left and feeling how heavy your head is leaning to the right. So again, I hope you had a great day today. During this story talk, I want you to listen to Wimberly Word because it's such a fun book. And I want you to remember that you are brave. You are strong, you are kind, you are good, and you are loved. And I can't wait to see you all again soon. And we'll have a special guest tomorrow. So we, Mrs. Grant's gonna do story time tomorrow or um, book talk again tomorrow. So I will see you in a couple days. Bye-bye friends.